Good morning and happy Monday. I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. I know it was blustery and rainy and cold, but hopefully you found some joy somewhere in that with some family, some friends, a cozy blanket, a Hallmark movie, something, something to celebrate. So my title today is, if I could turn people into frogs, I would do that for you. Uh, you have shared with me over this last week some stories that were bugging me. They were stories of people being unkind, people being disrespectful, people not being courteous of one another. And I feel like we are losing our humanity. So if I could turn people into frogs for you and take that pain away, I would do that. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Tammy. So we've been in this for quite a while and I had to stop and question myself, you know, why are good people acting so rotten? What is it? These are good people. Why are they treating one another with such disrespect, unkindness? I mean, I had to stay off Facebook for a little bit because I couldn't stand the, the mean, the mean people attacking one another. So why are good people behaving this way? And I think I figured it out in my opinion. You'll see if you agree with me, but again, if someone has been unkind and inconsiderate to you, I wish I could turn them into a frog. However, I think what we can do is make things better. And why they're acting like that is because at this point, don't we all feel like we're out of control by now? We have no control over this situation. We feel lost. We feel like we're wasting our time and we're wondering by now, does anything even really matter anymore? Does it matter if I show up? Does it matter if I clean the house? I'm not having anyone ever over anytime soon. Does it matter? Good morning, Teresa. Does it matter anymore? So with those feelings of being out of control, it manifests as anxiety and anger and frustration and grief. And I think we're taking it out on one another. I know we are. I know that's what it is. Why else would good people treat someone so poorly? Okay? So you are only in control of you and your actions. And that is all. So here's the realization, you've never had control. You feel like it was taken away from you, but I'm telling you, you've never had control. You never have. So if you've ever lost someone you loved unexpectedly, that has taught you that you've never had control over life. Tomorrow has never been promised. Tomorrow you may not have a job. Tomorrow you may not have a spouse. Tomorrow you may not have your health. The, that risk has always been there and it still is. You've never had control over life. So feeling out of control now, rein it in. You only have control over you and your actions. So, what is one achievable goal that you can set for yourself today? That will make you feel in control again. What is one achievable goal? Don't make it big. Don't make it for next year. Don't make it for the new year. Make it for today. Make it small. Make it achievable. Make, make you feel in control of something. Make you feel accomplished. One goal. Could it be just getting some food on the table this week? Could it be taking a minute to write down how you're feeling in your journal? Could it be taking a walk every day this week since we're gonna get some sunshine? How about you clean up that resume? So when this storm is over, you can take your power back, be in a job that you may love and deserve. One achievable goal. Now, the holidays are coming and they're going to look different. So I'm telling you now, you're going to have to swap your expectations for appreciation. Swap your expectations for the holidays and just appreciate what you can find, what you can do, who you do get to be with. You might have to get creative about how you're going to see people. 
safely, socially distanced, by Zoom. You might have to send gifts in the mail to long distance relatives because you're not gonna get together. Maybe it's a new tradition you can start. So flip it, be ready, be ready. Now, um, there was one specific story that was shared with me. Good morning, Brendan, my son-in-law, all the way down in Texas, I miss you. And you helped me write this, so thank you. I, I picked him and Kennedy's brain over the weekend, saying, hey, I gotta do my Monday motivation and I don't know where to go with this one, so thank you for your help. So a, a story, speaking of Kennedy, a story was shared with me of one of her friends and there was this uh, young lady at the retail store getting just hammered by a gentleman, being so rude and unkind and disrespectful to this retail person. And Kennedy's friend had the courage and was raised right, good job mama, to stand up to this man and say, hey, back down, this little girl doesn't deserve that. And that's what kind of inspired some of this Motivational Monday today was, you know, I feel the need now to confront people, but I do it with posture. So in a situation like that, when someone is being rude to someone like that, I wrote down what I would say. I would have said, sir, maybe you've had a bad day or a tough year, and this little lady appears to be doing her best. Let's get a manager to help us out. Okay, because that man, I do want to turn him into a frog for treating someone poorly. However, we don't know what is going on for him. Is he full of anxiety, anger, frustration, grief? We don't know. We don't want to make him feel worse than he already is. Let's try to give him a different perspective. Okay, so confront people that are being rude, disrespectful, but do it with posture. Okay, serve one another. So moving forward, that's what we're gonna keep doing. It is November 15th or 16th. I've lost track of the days. We're halfway through November. We got about six weeks left of this year. Nothing fancy is gonna turn over first of the year and a miracle is going to wipe away what we're going through. But we've got lessons that we have learned. So during tough times, during things that you've gotten through, during your next season, reflect on this season, it's just seasonal. On your next season, write down, what are you taking with you? What have you learned? What must come with you into your next season? And then write down, what are you leaving behind? What are you kicking to the curb? What did not serve you during this season? What are you getting rid of? Okay, so what must come with and what must go? Stop and think about that. I know for me, I have learned that I am going to speak up. For a long time, I left myself uncomfortable making other people comfortable. So now when someone disappoints me, I let them know with posture that I was disappointed. And it feels good to be authentic and to be real and to be honest. And if they're your true friend, your true family member, they will love you and honor your feelings. That's just mine. So I promised you I'd make an announcement that some of you want more of me. And with time constrictions, taking appointments and being creative with COVID and I don't know what's happening next with Iowa or the United States or what's happening. So I kind of thought, what am I gonna do so that I can serve more people, so I can provide more value, but there's only so much of me and only so much time and only so much in scheduling and what if I get shut down again, you know, because of the situation we're in? So I decided, I love my motivational Mondays, and I'm de I've decided to add Wellness Wednesdays. So I'm going to come on Facebook Live on Wednesdays, and I am going to cover some health and wellness topics for you guys. And if one of those is just a, a, a strong interest of yours, or it's affecting one of your family members, then go ahead and reach out to me and we'll schedule some time one-on-one, -on -one, either virtually or in the shop if I'm able. So that's what's new, a little more Jude Wellness Wednesdays. So ta-da, you guys can tune in on Mondays for Motivational Monday and on Wednesdays for Wellness Wednesdays. 
Good morning, Nikki. Hey girl, can't wait to see you. I think I see you this week, Thursday maybe. Yay, 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 I miss you. Okay, so that's where we're at. If anybody has been cruel and unkind to you, Miss Nikki, I wish I could turn them into a frog for you because I would do that. Go ahead and start from the beginning and watch the replay. And if anyone you know needs this message, like, share, comment, let me know. And if there's a superpower, like I wish I could turn people into frogs, what superpower do you wish you had? Go ahead and drop it in the comments. Have a great day.